What's going on everyone? It's RJ from Backyard Sprouts and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to harvest your spinach seeds and store them for future plantings and that is all coming up next. What's up everyone? So in today's video it's going to be an informative video about how to get the seeds from your spinach and how to pretty much harvest the seeds. So in our very, in mine, okay, I'm not gonna speak on behalf of Alex, in my beginning journey as a farmer, as a gardener, as someone who is wanting to grow their own food, I had a very dumb question and it was, where do spinach seeds come from? And so, you know, hopefully I don't get a lot of flack for this on, on the YouTube community, but I mean, we all got to start somewhere, and this was one of my one of my dumb questions: was where where do the seeds come from? Obviously, later down the road, I find out where they come from. So, quick fact for those that have this question that I had a long time ago: don't worry, you're not the only one. RJ had this question as well. Pretty much, a, a spinach, along with lettuce and arugula. These are cool weather crops, so you join, you plant them uh, in the fall and as early as a few weeks after the last frost of the spring. So what ends up happening is when it gets too hot, the spinach goes through what's called, it just bolts. And that's when a stalk comes from the center and starts producing flowers. So you'll start to see these little bulbs and at first they're green and that's not when you actually harvest the seeds. You have to wait till the actual stalks and the actual spinach head or leaf is all dried and browned out. And it's, I'm going to show you guys a picture of what it looks like because we're going to go ahead and um, de-seed some of these. And it becomes super brittle. If you see any green on those uh, plants, it's still not ready. Just wait till they all brown out, till they all dry out. And I'll show you how it looks like. So this is what spinach will end up looking like um, once they're ready to go. See how brittle they are? They're very dry. Things just fall off. I can take this and just, see how it's just super brittle. That's when you know they're ready to go. And this is what comes out from the middle of the spinach. And you'll see in all of them that there are tiny bulbs. And those are your spinach seeds. And what you end up doing, super easy, take yourself a, a little container here. And you'll take the seeds and you just pretty much lightly rub them through your fingers and that's it. So it's hard to do with one hand but you'll pretty much just take and run your, your hand down these spinach seeds and run them between your fingers. That's it. So you'll take all of the, all of these and Go through it. I mean, it is a pretty lengthy process, but remember, we are doing and practicing sustainable agricultural practices, and some of them is reusing the seeds from our harvest and planting them. Okay, oops. so we're just gonna go really quickly. Uh, let's see if I can get the right angle here. And I'll just take these, and I'll just quickly break off little bits. Just continue to go. I'm actually super excited for this because I want to definitely get a lot of seed. I want to give some to my friends and I want to keep these seeds going every single year. These particular uh, spinach that I have are Bloomsdale long standing spinach. Um, and they yielded very well. I was able to, I got so much spinach that I had, I didn't know what to do with them. So I ended up giving some to my friends. Remember we're growing here in the Carolinas. 
So it does get very hot here. So right now, if you try to grow spinach in the summer heat, it's just going to automatically bolt. You're not even going to get anything. It's going to shoot that stalk straight up. It's too hot. You're not going to get any spinach. I wonder how much seeds I'm going to get. I'm just going to start rambling. This is what it means to be a sustainable farmer, being self-sufficient. This is how you grow your own food. You know, you don't just continue to buy spinach and then once you're done with it, buy more spinach seeds. I mean, you can, but why when you have free seeds right here? Seeds that came from plants that you personally grew. And that's, that's cool to me, guys. Uh, you know, I'm from Chicago, very industrial city. You know, I didn't know anything about farming. I didn't know anything about gardening. I didn't know anything about growing my own food. So this stuff is very cool to me. Look at how much seed I just got. This is crazy. <laughs> wow. Look, look how much seed there are. All right, so that was crazy. It took me no more than 30, 35 minutes to get all that. And that's, the, the crazy part is that, that wasn't even all of the spinach I had, right? I, those, were, those were the ones that I just decided to pick up. But look at, this would be hilarious if I dropped all this. There's so much. And that's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. Sustainable agricultural movements. You grow the product, you get the seeds, and you do it over and over and over again, and you become self-sufficient in growing your own food, which is so awesome. Anyways, there's just honestly so much seed, I'm just gonna have to give some to my friends uh, and some family and people that are interested in growing some spinach. The type this is, is this is organic Bloomsdale spinach. Let me confirm. Yep, yep. Focus. There you go. Fairy Moore's Organic Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. Organic. Has to be organic. We're not sponsored by Fairy Moore's. Um, this is just the type of seed that we had gotten uh, earlier this year. Look how crazy this is. Sorry guys, I get excited over the smallest things. They look just like it. <laughs> so what we're actually gonna do here uh, and again there's just so much seed uh, there's so much so an awesome idea that um, I saw I, I ran into one of his videos is uh, Luke from am I gardener he did this awesome thing that I was like dang that's super cool so we are going to do something that he does and we are going to give away some of this seed some of this organic Bloomsdale long-standing spinach seeds uh, that was grown right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you guys are interested in getting some of these organic seeds, the only thing we ask is hit, uh, that you know you hit that subscribe button, you hit that like button, and just comment below this video and just say, hey, I'm interested, and we'll reach out to you and work out the logistics. But there's so much seed that it would just go to waste. I'll only use Let's say in our beds, I can only use maybe about, so in my bed this time, I counted 52 heads of spinach and that's like, that's like right here. <laughs> Look at all the other. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give some to my media, to our media friends and family and then the rest, we're gonna hook you guys up. So again, the only rules and the only thing we ask is just hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and then just comment below, say, hey, I'm interested, and I love your videos. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Just say, hey, I'm interested. That's it, guys. That's how you collect spinach seeds from your harvest. If you are someone like me, super early in the start of my gardening, farming adventure, there are, you know, unless someone taught it to you, these questions aren't too dumb. They might be dumb for people that have that already know the answer to it, but for people that are just starting, people that are just new and wanting to give 
uh, growing their own food a shot. Questions aren't dumb. Always shoot them our way. Again, I didn't even know how spinach produced seeds in the very beginning of this. I was like, are they in the leaves somehow? I also wanted to share that Alex and I are coming up on 100 subscribers. It's gonna get super crazy because never did we think that we would get 100 subscribers. We're always just like, okay, we're gonna have like maybe 30, 40 friends that will like us and that's it. We'll just be making YouTube videos for our friends. <laughs> but if you guys are familiar with YouTube, after you guys get 100 subscribers, you guys get to claim the unique name. So we'll finally be able to claim the YouTube slash Backyard Sprouts URL. So we're super excited about that. So once we hit 100 subscribers, we are actually gonna do something fun and something cool for you guys. And we're super excited because Alex and I are putting our heads together on um, doing a giveaway and something just super cool for all of our uh, fans and followers and people that view and have been following us since the beginning. We're super excited and we're super thankful for you guys watching us and following us and just staying with us on this journey and we're so excited to continue to grow and we're excited to bring you guys along with us. So we hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. As always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure, and we will see you guys next time.